to say, well, Mr. McLogan, I'm okay with converting points. I kind of understood that. So if the only information I have for converting equations is the same as converting points, let me see what I can take. The only thing I know about x in terms of polar equations is that x equals r cosine of theta. The only thing I know about y in terms of polar equations is that y equals r sine of theta. Yes, I mean, it's written on the board. This is the only thing you like knew we've kind of like discussed today. So if I want to convert this to polar, would it be legal then for me just to replace x with r cosine of theta? Yes, legal, like passing the speed limit. Plus y to be r sine of theta. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> Does that make sense, though? I'm just substituting in x and y in for what they represent in polar form. Yes, no? And then, now, if we want to write a polar equation, just like when we write rectangular equations, we want to solve for y, usually, if we're allowed. Um, here, we want to solve for r. So should we combine these? Can we combine, like, what's cosine plus sine? Is that, like, tangent or something? Or can we do that? Are those like terms? They're both trig, but they're not like terms, guys. Okay, that's like saying x and y. They're both variables. Just come out. No, they're not. They're not the same. So if we can't combine them, we could maybe rhymes with uh, tractor and starts with an f. Factor. Can we factor out an r? We could factor out an r. Factor out an r. We're left with three cosine theta plus sine of theta. Now going back to algebra one days, if you want to solve for r, apply the inverse operation. What's being applied to r? Well, r is being multiplied by this quantity. So therefore, we just need to divide by that quantity <coughs> on both sides. And I'm going to waste a lot of ink writing this whole thing out. So r equals 1 over 3 cosine of theta plus sine of theta. And what the cool thing is, next class period, I don't have time today, but next class period, what I'll do is we'll plug this in our calculator, and you guys will see. This is going to draw the exact same shape as this would draw, which would be y equals like negative 3x plus 1, right? That's another slope intercept form, which would be a line, right? This is going to produce the exact same thing. This is just in polar form. Okay? That's rectangular, that's polar form. But that's the equation of a line. I can give it to you at the beginning of the year and say, hey, what's that equation of? You'd be like, eh, no idea. Mr. McLogan? Yes? Can we have Abigail to the main office? Osterman, pick out, please. Okay.